Let's add windows and doors. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and find Archimesh. Turn it on. Now when you're in Object Mode, you will see this new Create tab. Press N if you don't see it or click on this arrow. You will see in the Archimesh tools that there's a room button. The workflow is pretty terrible and I do not suggest you use it. The windows and doors within the Archimesh tool, those are real time savers and we will be using those. Let's place the windows first. You can choose between panel windows and rail windows. I like rail windows so I will be using those. When you press the button, the window is created on the 3D cursor. Place the 3D cursor by shift right clicking on the wall wherever you want the window. Note that windows have an orientation, so place the 3D cursor on the inside of the house. Place the cursor roughly on the spot where the window will go. You can adjust the precise position later. Now go to the Archimesh tools and click on the window button. By default, windows are always oriented parallel to the X axis. You can change the rotation in the Archimesh panel here. If you click on another object, the properties of the window will disappear from the Archimesh panel. To bring them back on, select the window, you'll see that the window has different parts. You will have to select a specific part of the window to bring the panel back up. In the panel, you can change the size of the window. Now this is important. Whenever you create a window or a door through this method, you will see that a box around the object and an empty are also created. The box will be our boolean cutter to carve out the hole in the wall, while the empty will allow us to move the objects. If you try to select a window or door and directly move it with the G command, you will see that it's constrained. It will only allow you to open or close them. If you want to move them, you need to grab the empty. Now let's place the rest of the windows. Done. Now let's place the doors with a similar process. Doors should always be on the ground plane, so make sure that you put the 3D cursor on the ground plane before adding each door. Done. Do the final adjustments in location and size of each door and window before moving to the next step. We're gonna use booleans, so make sure you save your work now, as boolean operations tend to crash Blender. Now we'll carve the holes for the doors and windows. To do that, make sure that you're in the object mode and select the walls. Add a boolean modifier, then in object, click on the eyedropper and then hover over the box. It should show the name, control, hole and a number. Click to apply it. Now you'll see that the hole is carved. If you open the window, you can see through. If the wall is too thick, you might need to manually adjust the exact position so that the box clears the full width of the wall. Now let's do the rest of them with an easier way. Select all of the boxes of the rest of the windows and doors by shift clicking each one of them. Make sure you're selecting the box only. With all of them selected, shift click on the wall to select that too. Now the wall is selected and it is the active object. Press the boolean difference hotkey, control and the minus key in the numpad and this will create all of the modifiers in one fell swoop. Make any manual adjustments if needed. Finally, let's render this. Again, save your work. Cycles will always give you the best results, so we'll use that render engine. Materials are out of the scope of this tutorial, but let me know if you would like me to do one. The easiest way to light this, and that also looks very nice, is using an environment texture, so we'll do that. Go to the shading tab. Your workspace might look different, just make sure you have a window with a shader editor. Click on where it says object and go to world, as we will be shading the environment. Shift A, texture, environment texture, add to the node we need. Connect both nodes like this. Then click on open and find the folder where Blender stores these textures. Add a bookmark so that it's easy to find the next time. Select interior and open it. Now go back to layout, go to render properties, scroll down to film and click on transparent. Add a large plane under the house. Save with Control S and press F12 to render. You can also turn on freestyle in the render properties to add an outline around the edges of your render. That makes it easier to understand. And we're done! Isn't this lovely? Isn't Blender the best? Now if you've set up your models library like I have, you can just furnish the house by dragging and dropping models. But I will leave that for another tutorial. Drop a like and subscribe if this was useful to you. I'm Dude Blender. I will see you in the next one.